Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, it's Ruth here. So, um, I have already pre-cut some lovely dies out. I'm not going to show you them just yet because we're going to be making a bit of a background here. The idea is to create a lovely kind of almost frosty-like uh, look but also perhaps a bit of kind of collage style stamping, a little bit of uh, grunge you know in there as well so I may add some words because I, I need to make some more Christmas cards would you believe it uh, so want to get some colour down on here and I was thinking of doing some just some stroking some colour on now the other way you can do this is with you know a kind of texture stamp so I'm just going to grab artistically inked because this is quite a good one for that. And, oh, I don't know whether to go for a bit more. Oh, I haven't used this for a while. Let's use the birch stamp, but maybe use it that way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, right, let's have a think. So, um, okay, right. Hello, hello. I'm going to grab up YouTube in a second. So I can read all your lovely comments. Welcome, welcome. Let's get some colour down on here. I think I'm just going to do a little bit of soft sea foam in. Should I do soft sea foam in the background? Oh, I'm so indecisive today. I'm sorry. Um, maybe a bit of balmy blue. Let's get a bit of that down. And then we'll go from there. So to start off with, because I just want to get loads of colour down, I'm just going to do some stamping and then re-stamping and stamping again and getting all that lovely ink off the stamp. Okay, so just laying down lots and lots of imagery here so quite quick process this it's no kind of exact science just basically stamp where you haven't stamped before okay just get get it down there and get it all covered okay there we go that's that's one lot of color down and i'm thinking to get the pool party out so we want kind of like a frosty morning kind of look but with a little bit of grunge in the background so get my bigger block okay so i i mainly want i don't want to use this thicker part of the wood i just mainly want to use this area here because it's got some nice kind of stripe effects there so I'm going to just stamp that and then stamp again. Ooh, which side I'm using. So I'm just applying the ink directly to the stamp like so and then stamping. I'm trying to keep them in fairly straight lines. So I hope some of you made use of the free postage. Hi everybody, I'll say a quick hello to everybody. Hi Martina, Louise, Valerie, Vicky, Susan, Linda, Glenna, Barb, Anne, Kelly, Maureen McLean, hello, hi Roberta, uh, Christy, Chris, Georgiana, yes Barb's back home, isn't that great you news? Susan Johnson and Susan Smalley commenting right on top of each other. Isn't that funny? That does happen. Hi, Nessa. Hi, Susan Zastro. Hi, Navarana. Hi, Denise. Hi, Chris. Um, sorry, Mindy. Have I said hello to Mindy already? Oh. I know. I ordered a t-shirt and one ribbon to qualify for the free shipping. 
Oh, well, can't go wrong with a T-shirt. So if, if, for those of you who are customers and wondering where do you get a T-shirt from, uh, it's, a, it's available to Stampin' Up! demonstrators. It's part of the merchandise that is available to us. So there we go. Right, so can you see that very faintly there? It is there. Your PC is having attitudes. <laughs> I love it. My PC is having an attitude. <laughs> very cool okay so definitely want a bit of this very Versailles in there now I'm wondering if to go for some kind of grey as I said it's kind of frosty morning is the the look I'm going for some smoky slate Right, now, I'm actually going to be designing this sheet to be cut across this way and then um, probably going to get eight pieces out of this. However, um, to make it easier on myself, I'm going to cut it later. Sorry, I've got, I'm just sort of thinking ahead. I've got a kind of a sort of a vision of what I want, so I'm just trying to think ahead what I need to do. Okay, so I'm going to start stamping my very Versailles in various places trying to keep the line straight because I find that sometimes if the lines aren't straight it gets a little bit distracting but that's just me that's just the way I am yes and it's Louise's birthday today everybody Please wish Louise happy birthday. Sorry, I forgot to say that at the beginning. Sorry, Louise. Right, okay. All good, all good. Now, um, there's one, oh no, there's not. Right, now I'm gonna have to cut this in half because the next layer of stamps actually have to be in a specific direction. And because I've got this very Versailles running through, um, and that needs to be in the right direction. I've got to cut it. All right, it will all make sense in a second. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I might sound like I'm waffling a bit here. So this is the stamp set that I'm going to be using uh, and the dies to match this. I bought it about a month ago and only just got around to using it. So, um, right, I'm going to go in with a bit of basic grey here. And I'm going to stamp this at different levels. I was going to try and do it so it's not floating. I might just have to fill in that extra line there with a pen. That's not a big problem waffle away <laughs> happy birthday to all who have successfully aged i know there's quite a few december birthdays yeah because it was barb's not so long ago mindy's the other day and someone else actually oh no i did i did write these down somewhere i had a list of people i had to who was it? Who else had a special birthday? Was it you, Bob? I know Sheila had a special one as well. Right, so that's the... Now what flower... This is going to divide you all now. What flower is this? Because I think when you look at it, it, it can basically be what you want it to be. Cone flower, so some people are saying cone flowers. Okay, black eyed Susan. There we go. See, I knew that some of you would say different things. Echinacea, Rebecca, <laughs> Ivy. 
Now, this stamp may, might be on offer at the moment. Oh, it's too late for you to get the free shipping, Martina. Um, hi, Cheryl. Oh, it wasn't your birthday. You have one in July. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now, the other thing about this stamp look at this grungy bit here now i think i might wait and until i chop this up before using that so now i know this can be a card for any kind of occasion i'm actually going to be doing these for christmas cards because i need more christmas cards and i am thinking of stamping Um, now last time I did Sending Love, didn't I? This wondrous season. Oh, right, although I think I might just go for Merry Christmas, just because it's easier. But because only part of it is going to show on the cards, I'm going to have to really repeat, repeat this image quite a bit. And I'm thinking of a slightly darker. Yeah, the free shopping is fin um how long? Oh, no, it's gone now. Sorry. Yeah, it was it was today. Over 35 pounds. But Nessa, if you want anything in the sale, just let me know because I'll be placing an order at the end of the month anyway. So I think there were some goodies that you spotted, weren't there? Oh, it's okay, Nessa. Yeah, it was just for today. But let me know what you'd like, darling. I'll send it to you. I'll order at the end of the month. Oh, dear me. I've got to tell you about my catalogue palaver today. So, got my lovely big box of catalogues arrived, ready, you know, I've been waiting for them to send out to you guys. So, I got, you know, the I got the correct quantity of the mini catalogues and the right languages. So, I've ordered one pack of French, one pack of German and the rest English. Then, I ordered the exact the same in the celebration catalogues, but I opened my package and I had five packs of French and one pack of English. So I just assumed I made a mistake when I ordered them. So I thought, okay, I'll just make use of the free postage. I'll just go and order the correct ones because I, I can't, you know, got to get on with it. Anyway, then I looked at the packing slip after I'd ordered more catalogues, more celebration leaflets, and realised I had not made the mistake someone in the uh, warehouse had made a mistake so I quickly rang something up and said please can you cancel my order and they were like oh sorry it's too late we can't cancel it um so then I explained and she was like oh sorry we can't you know there's nothing we can do um so anyway do you still want me to send out the catalogues that we've not done correctly and I just went yeah <laughs> yes please because <laughs> I figured I'd rather have extras because, um, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, never mind. Oh, same happened to you. All right, so if any more than I need. Right, uh, now what's the other thing I wanted to stamp on here? Oh, I was thinking of stamping this, but in white over the top. Um, however... Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm not so happy with all that blue there and I'm thinking I'm actually going to stamp this image again but in blue because I want more blue here so, I'm just do that. 
I'm not going to try and stamp over what I've done already. I'm kind of doing the opposite in a way. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Jackie. Yeah, sorry, Frozen. I don't know why. Right, there we go. Now I'm just going to test this one out on an edge. Just see what it's like. Can you tell I didn't stop? <laughs> I just kept going. <laughs> just want to make it more vignette. These are all actually going to get cut up, so. Yeah. Let's cut these up and then see what happens. Sorry, I've just got to calculate. Seven. Mm -hmm. Can we go 7.3, I think. That leaf mould, I know, I know, I, I was looking at it as I was stamping it going, this is mouldy leaf, I can't believe that like, we're all going gaga over mouldy leaf, but it is, it, and it's so detailed and beaut beautiful, so, um, but yeah, there we go. One side has got a little bit, it's a bit more interesting. Like that that bit there is a bit just blotchy, but this with the little bit of line in it is really interesting. Hi, Diane. Thanks, Bev. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Kelly. Just noticing a few people. Please say hi again if I've missed you coming in. Right, there we go. I'm quite pleased with that. Although I'm, 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 want, I'm wanting more dark on the edges, I think. Just want that. I like that definition. What do you think? That one or that one? I was thinking of putting them on a white background, but. Right, so now I'm going to bring my die cuts in. I'll pop this away for a second. I will come back to finishing the others. So I've pre-cut with the shimmer white cardstock and the plan was to maybe do some, a little bit of watercolouring over this. However, I'm wondering if it needs it because I actually want these to show up. So I've used the shimmer white card and I've also cut some out of vellum. 
so I thought it would be nice just to layer up some different things. Um, so there's this, this beautiful like thistle looking thing. Then there's this branch. I should have got this stamp set much earlier on in the season really. I hadn't realised how gorgeous it was. Look at that. All right, so that's the idea. So I don't want to use them all on one. <laughs> I'll maybe use two, two on each, I think. So use a sort of variety, right? Go for maybe that and a branch. There we go. Ta -da! I know, I know, Martina, you would think that, wouldn't you? No, I'm, no, I don't think I am. There we go. But it just felt like it needed it to make it stand out a bit. Um, I'm actually wondering if it just needs a little bit more, like, light, lighter on there. Um, this is Paul, no, what did I use Paul? party for did i actually use pool party on the end oh i used it for the that birchy stamp didn't i but this one looks a bit pale and it looks like it needs more right it's a bit artsy looking isn't it i think this one will have to go to martina it's a bit arty looking <laughs> Winking the vellum. Oh, yes. Oh, what was that about, Gloria? The insurance finally approved his meds and they're working on lowering his potassium. It's coming down. He feels a lot better. Oh, that's good, Gloria. Oh, it's nice when you have friends you can try, you know, try out different things with. You can borrow their stamps. Right, where's that other one? So where are we? 22 minutes in. Wow, this is not bad, actually. This is quicker than last night's. Right, now this one, I'm wondering whether just to leave, because that... The, I went straight in there with the mouldy stuff, didn't I? Oh, now this needs a merry there, because if I cut that, I'm not going to see a merry. That's the only thing about when you cut these things up. Ah, oh, hi, Root. Oh, you just finished your SU order. Um, right, 
Right, so let's have a look how this would look now, now on here. Now that just has a very different look about it, doesn't it? Okay, I'm just bear with me. I'm going to have to cut some white um, card bases. Although I'm also wondering what it would look like uh, with a grey base. Ooh, oh, oh, I quite like that actually. Mm, okay, let's cut a couple of those. That one needs dark flowers. Oh no, Cheryl, don't say that. I've got to then colour them in. <laughs> I wasn't intending on colouring them in. Although, uh, the other day, Kim Fee did a lovely card where she did sort of get some water and some ink and coloured hers in. And they did look rather nice. My only concern is the vellum. Um, I suppose I could get my alcohol pens on there. Could try that. You could do it that way. Do it like that. be a bit different wouldn't it this bundle is carrying over okay will pool party be too bright uh, That's not terrible. It's not terrible. Miss Kelly might try a. I was going to say I'd try balmy as well, but I. Oh, yeah, I've got one here. Oh well, we'll just have a, ver a variety of different bases, I think. about my messy desk. You could stamp all over the flower with the edge stamp to give it some colour and texture. Oh, that's a good idea, Cheryl. Thank you. Oh yes, they, I think they do look like thistles, yeah. Those are something you could go put a purple hue on the flower heads. Yeah. Right, let's have a little experiment then, seeing as you guys are angling for it a little bit to colour some of these in. Oh. Sorry, just lost pieces that I was working on. Oh, here they are. That's what I wanted. another piece oh there it is so did we think this was slightly heathery uh, not heathery thistly I 
So Stark Highland Heather. Oh well, we'll have a go at that. With a bit of blue. Oh, <laughs> gone all over it now. Maybe a little bit of mossy meadow, I think. Is this mossy? Oh, no, it's dark old olive. Okay, I can live with that. You do have to kind of hold it down, though, if it wants to go all over the place. Right. That's really nice. Yes, that shows up way better. Way better. Oh, it's quite a delight colouring in the shimmer white cardstock with the stamping blends, actually. It just seems to drink it up. Right, okay, sorry. Um, what herb goes best with spinach? Oh, um, nutmeg. Oh, that's a spice, sorry. Uh, spinach, I love to put garlic and uh, grated nutmeg. Now this one, oh dear, right. Do we just go dark all over? Should I try that? Let's see what happens. Is this? Oh, this is light night of navy. Okay. I should perhaps have gone for the dark one, but never mind. Could always go over it with the dark. You've tried it with vinegar. A spinach and rice pilaf. Oh no. Lots of garlic, onion, spinach and nutmeg. Personally. That's what I would be doing. Maybe some mushrooms if you want in there. Now the thing about colouring in vellum is that it's got kind of got nowhere to go. It, it, it can't soak in. So it behaves very differently on vellum. I'll tell you what I haven't tried yet is that whole alcohol technique on vellum. You know, where you spray it. I haven't tried that yet. Anyway, there we go. Just got, it, it takes a little bit longer to dry. Just waft it around for a bit. Oh, butter, yes, butter. Oh, flip it over, she says. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's just a very different, te different, te uh, I will not say texture, but I think I prefer this side though. Um, yeah, you can do that if you can flip it over. But I quite, I quite like the almost wateriness that sort of happened. It looks like it's been painted with a water, with watercolour. Right, so that's that one and that one. Ooh, this one. Let's see. That would look nice. Should I do that in dark? This is dark night of navy. That would be a bit dramatic, won't it? So this is a good way of if you haven't got all the different coloured cardstocks, but you have got some colouring implement 
to colour your die cuts. Sometimes though you need to run around the edges a little bit. Okay. I quite like that, just the branch on its own. It's just a bit interesting. I like the lines on the front side. Okay. Yes, it's muted. Then it looks like a connect. Cone dark yellow petals, soft pink. And then it looks like echinacea. Watch if you did this yellow and yes, if, to make it look, but I don't really want it to. If it is echinacea, I want it to look like it's a silhouette against a frosty background. So I've done that one, that one, and that one. I've got one more. That's hiding over here. Okay. So I've just got to colour in one more dark thing. Quite fancy doing a bit of that one. Oh, and also in that die set, you've got a die that cuts out the two images and also these really cool sentiment strips. That's really quite nice. Very classy. I love this edge to them. <gasps> Do we have a punch that does that? Right, I'm going to cheat again. I'm just going to go in for dark because the effect I want is that it looks like a silhouette. So I'm sorry, I'm not doing any intricate colouring with the alcohol pens. I know that uh, you, know, you can do some lovely things with it, but tonight I'm just using it for its pure colour. Right. Oh, pretty peacock. Oh, yes. Oh, I love pretty peacock. And how I miss you, pretty peacock. Right, I want to start sticking some of these down. Actually, this one, this image, I don't mind it hanging off. So I'm going to colour that all in. The others, I was thinking, oh, I'll just cut them off at the end. But this one looks really nice. Kind of all the way so there we go right what's the time 38 Ooh, we might get these cards done ah uh, now i'm wondering do i stamp a little bit of very versailles around the edge mm. oh, yes you see now i've had the thought i've got to, oh sorry now i've had the thought i've got to do it look there's a little bit of gold fleck on there I'm trying to worm its way into my card it's like i want to be used Right, let's get a bit of the old Rover Sigh on here. There we go. Right, pop that there. Stick that on there. So I hope you guys have got some inspiration for creating a pretty background for your die cuts. Um, as I said yesterday, you know, I appreciate if you don't want to turn this into a, a Christmas card, you don't have to. It's got many different applications if you wanted to use a different script instead of Merry Christmas or you could use Happy Birthday or just not, not put a script at all. Um, Right, slight jaunty angle. I don't want to go over the Christmas there, so go very gently lay that down. You'd rather keep it clean, okay? Well, it's it's not too obvious because it's smoky slate on smoky slate, so you can barely see it. Oh, I tell you what would look good is if these were embossed. Ooh. That would look really cool, wouldn't it? Now you see that is in the way of that. 
try that one instead. You can just about, you've got Christmas then Merry there, but never mind. Oh, Anne, what's, is Anne doing more recipes? Night, Ivy. Lovely to see you. See you on Saturday. Night, Cheryl. This one's a bit easier to stick because it's got some larger lumpy bits all right that's two down do I want to see what it's like with the white Oh no, what am I saying? What am I saying? I've got this one. Okay, that one can go on there. This one needs a little bit more colour. Hi, Cindy. You're baking cookies. Oh, yeah. Is that for Saturday? Are you sending me some for Saturday? When What I sometimes do with misshapen stamping, I cut it like a with a trellis die and weave the die cut flowers through and then stick it onto the card. That sounds pretty. I'm very tempted to emboss this. It's just that I've got stuff all over my desk. Right. Um... Oh, yes, because this is actually the dye that goes with this suite. This is called um, Time. Is it called Time on Type or something? Right. I wonder if I can fit two. straight loose okay right I'm sorry guys got to take you up a bit whoa my card moved Ada Cridor. Welcome. Oh, look at those. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I've got to decide which one was which. That one was on that one, wasn't it? This one was on this one.
Are you joining us on Saturday, Phoebe? For those of you who have just joined or you don't know what I'm talking about, on Friday, on Saturday we've got a international Zoom event for anybody who wants to join. We're welcome new followers and new anything new really, <laughs> new crafters, new new friends. If you love stamping, if you love crafting, just want to hang out with us. To get the information, you need to be a member of Artful Stamping Space or you need to email me ruthtrice at gmail.com for more information. It is a free event, however I am asking for donations if people are able to. I know it's an expensive time of year so I'm not making it mandatory. Um, right so that's four done. This should be a bit easier although I am really liking that embossed effect so I think I might just pop a couple more in through the machine. It was so nice. <laughs> I was like, where's the embossing folder gone? Oh, I was sat on it. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I'd forgotten about this embossing folder. It's so, so nice. Oh, bye, Susan. Enjoy. <gasps> Puff pastry twister with a hazelnut filling. <gasps> oh, yum. Oh, I had the most glorious package today from Martina, full of lovely German sweets and chocolates. I very nearly opened a packet today, and then I thought, no, if I start opening it now, I'm going to run out. So, in maybe in a couple of day days' time, Martina, I'm going to start opening them. And I have some really cool square like glass jars and at the moment don't hate me for this uh, they're in my boys bathroom because <laughs> uh, when we first moved I, I just put things like soaps and I don't know flannels and things in there so I I am wondering whether to get them down and give them a really good clean and then put the chocolates and the biscuits and the Christmassy goodies in there and have them on display so that we can actually see them and enjoy them. Right now this is the one for layering because we want different different things layered there. So not too much glue. Don't want too much glue to show through. So pop that down like that. Thank you. Linda. Right, let's do another one. Oh, right, so here is, what's this one? Pool party. Now this one, I know it's cut at a funny angle, it's because when um, I was cutting these out, I'd already used the paper, so I had a bit of an odd shape to try and fit it in, so that's why that one was a bit odd. Okay. Right, I'm trying to get through, because I'm determined to try and get these done within an hour to show you how you can make quite a few cards in an hour. They don't all have to be taking an hour each. I mean I do do cards sometimes, like the one the the very detailed one I did the other day. That one did take an hour. But you can get quite nice results 
especially if you use this stamped one sheet wonder technique where you're stamping a whole sheet and then you're cutting it up you get loads of layers of texture and interest right two to go so this is the balmy blue background which is quite nice right i'm just checking how many of these pieces i've got left to use so we've got that one, that one, got that one, and that one. Now, I'm wondering what it would look like if I put a little bit of white ink on this. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, that's really pretty. It makes it show up a little bit more then. Oh, is that the right side? No, that was the wrong side. I'm going to turn that off because I want to put glue on that side. Hold on, I just need my little something to poke these in with. Not, rather than my fingers, because I'm going to get them on my fingers a lot. So this is the Craft White ink. It's a pigment... Sorry, put my teeth back in. Pigment-based ink. So it takes longer to dry. Um, but it means that because of its pigment, it sits on the top of your hard stock so it's more opaque oh, no. I say this so many times to people and then I've just gone and done it myself when you use this ink you have to tap 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 quite a few times to get a real good coating on your stamp there we go that's better before you stamp down. I have many people saying to me, I can't get the white ink to work properly for me. And that's because they're not coating their stamp enough. So be patient, take your time to coat it. And then it'll be okay. So I'm just putting a little bit of white around the edge there. Oh, that one's got texture on. Oh, well, might as well go for it. Right, now I'm just aware this ink is not dry. But I just want to get it stuck down. Did I put, oh no, it's this one. It's quite straight, this one. All night, Reet. Oh, Reet, did you enjoy James Bond? No spoilers, but did you enjoy it? That 
That's not sticking down very well, but I actually quite like, quite liked it sticking up, but there we go. That's got a very different look about it now. Um, oh, this one's folded a bit weird. Oh, I forgot I was going to do one that way. Forgot about that. And all the excitement. Quite like that. Let's do that. Hi, Heidi. So I officially put my card string up in my front room, ready to hang cards on. <laughs> Who else does this? Hang string in their, their houses to hang cards. See, I have held off and put in too many, well, not in prominent places because it was Tom's birthday. I like to let him have his cards up a little bit. Although, guess who was Miss Naughty and didn't make him a card? Oh, oh me. I mean, he got presents. What more does he want? For some years, he doesn't get a present. He buys his own, and I don't even bother wrapping it up. But this year, he did He did drop hints, and he had ordered one thing for himself. So I did wrap those up. He's also very partial to peanut M&Ms, so he got his usual dose of peanut M&Ms. Now, in past years, there were some shops that sell the two kilogram bags of peanut M&Ms, and I couldn't find those this year. So we had to make do. Right. I think this could do with a little bit of a wink of Stella just to hide the glue. Mm. But I made his favourite food. Oh yes, I did, didn't I? Oh yes, I got him... I got him his steak pies from the butchers. Which, funny enough, we've decided that we, we're not as big a fans of them as we used to be. Like, I'm not sure whether, I don't know if they've changed the way they make them or, or whatever, but yeah, we don't have them that often. So it was fine. It was nice to have a change, you know, because normally like to make a meat pie at home, it's quite a lot of work, isn't it? Right, there's a little bit of wink on there. Right, I think we're done. What's the time? One minute. What's that? One minute. On the dot. One one minute. One hour. One hour. That's not bad. All I did, though, was pre-cut the dies. So add, add another 15 minutes on for that. And to be honest, now the design's, you know, if you know what the design is, you, you know what the design is. Part of the time I was designing it. Right, so we've got, let's put that aside for a sec, got four cards without any darker edging and then we've coloured in, I've coloured in, not we, the royal we, I have coloured in the shimmer white cardstock, so that's quite fun, so got that, that's vellum, 
So that's shimmer white and that's shimmer white. So there we go. That's four cards there. And then we have that one. So that's gone through the embossing folder. Oh, that one's gone through the embossing folder, those two as well. That one hasn't. And then we've got this one. That's got the white, so I'll be very careful not to touch that too much just yet. I've got to leave that a day or so. And then that one's got the shimmer. Actually, it feels like it needs a bit more shimmer around the edge or something. A bit more interesting. Yes. Oh, Martina, I've seen a photo of when you hang your Easter eggs up there. Yeah. Well, there's, I have a little bit of an arch between my kitchen and the conservatory. And I did have a lovely piece that Wendy gave me when I first moved in the house. But um, I've had, I've packed that away for now. And I have put up some twinkly lights and also a banner I did years and years ago out of Stampin' Up! product. It says Emmanuel. Although my M, one of the M's is missing from my Emmanuel. So I need to get, get on and complete that again um oh i i had a list of little things i wanted to get from town today um i had to go to the hardware store but the the light in our toilet stopped working so i need i've got a new fixture for that and i had on my list uh like christmas tea uh not tea towel um tablecloth but I did find my tablecloth that I had already, so I've used that. But I wanted some more sort of festive -y looking cushions. So last Christmas, a friend of mine gifted us um, eight new cushions and cushion covers. But I wanted to kind of change them out a bit. So I found two dark red cushion covers, brand new, in a charity shop for £1.50. Woohoo! Then I bought four whole cushions so cushions with covers and the cushion inside for two pounds each um one of them is like red predominantly red tartan on one side and then the on the other side it's more green tartan so i was like oh that's brilliant that's kind of neutral design that'll go with anything christmasy then the other three it looks like they've been made by somebody and they're all kind of red and white or red and cream design but they're just really lovely design fabric anyway I'll, I'll try and put a, well I might do a Christmas tour at some point of how I've decorated the house and so I've completely changed the covers in the conservatory and I dug out a really old patchwork that I've had for years and years it's literally falling apart but I thought you know what I may as well just enjoy it it's it, because every time I wash it basically more and more of it falls apart but it's all red and white and blue um so I've put that on the back of the sofa now with the new cushions so I'm really happy and then I bought some more fairy lights as well so um yeah it was a good charity shop day today very good right like a sunroom yes um yeah so it's predominantly glass it's got glass on two sides yeah but it's got a thick it's got a proper roof on it yeah night susan take care my screen just came back oh okay cindy but it's sort of it's it's attached to my kitchen it's sort of it is very much part of the house it's not got a door separating it so right thank you so much for joining me everybody glad you enjoyed tonight i hope that's given you a bit of inspiration to um you know mass produce your cards and um yeah if you want to purchase that stamp set it's nature's harvest then the dies are called oh where have i put the dies Right, so these are the dies harvest dies the papers for this is reduced i've just ordered it actually because they're so pretty i looked at the pattern and thought why did i not buy this set before the, the, the patterns are beautiful 
so the time worn type embossing folder that goes with this suite as well this one then the colors that i used were basic gray misty moonlight pool party balmy blue and smoky slate there we go and then the stamp sets that I used to create the background were artistically inked. Nature's Harvest. Hold on, I'm just going to make a pile and then I'll go through it. I'm being careful because I know there's white ink on there. So I'm going to move that out of the way. And that one's got a bit of Winker Stella. So there we go. Right. Uh, heartfelt Wishes. But this was just purely for the script. So if you've got other stamps other sentiments you want to stamp that's fine that's up to you very Versailles for the script there the birch for some texture flowing down again not absolutely necessary it's just a bit of extra texture you can use something else nature's harvest and artistically inked just to get some kind of color down in the background sorry sorry all that clicking and clacking um i love doing that though um so there we go. Five stamp sets, but you could probably get away with less than that. And then what else did I use? Oh, sorry. Dark Night of Navy, Light Night of Navy, Old Olive and Dark Highland Heather to colour that in. There we go. Right. <sighs> These would take me days to produce. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. Just follow me. <sighs> Just follow follow the system. <laughs> Maybe I need to do a class on making eight, eight cards in one class. These would make great birthday cards. Yes, of course they would. Yes. Yeah. Right, lots of love to you all. Thank you so much for watching. Please do share out this video with any friends who you think will enjoy it. And also, if you want to shop with me, please hit the link in the description. And also, hi, Denison. Um, welcome. Are you new? Sorry, I've had my head down. Time worn type. Yes, time worn. I think it's called time worn type or time worn something yeah it's kind of got some script in there and it's got just sort of grainy grungy yeah it's fabulous so cool i wonder if i oh that would look oh i've got to do some inking on this oh yeah that would be fun Thank you, everybody. Time worn folder. Yes. I'll try me. Oh, just a reminder, I've got a wreath class next Tuesday. If anyone wants to uh, come to that, it's £16 and it's at least two hours of tuition with me. You have to have 12 by 12 cardstock and some ver a variety of floral stamps and inks. That's, that's pretty much what you need to bring to the table, your table, and uh, you join me for Zoom. So if anyone's interested in that, that will probably be my last class of the year. And um, yeah, so please let me know, ruthtrice at gmail.com. Just email me for more information. Right, lots of love to you all. Take care for now. Bye.